In the vast, silent darkness of space, billions of years ago, something incredible was about to happen. A cosmic dance of gas and dust set the stage for the creation of our solar system. Around 4.6 billion years ago, a massive cloud of interstellar gas and dust, known as a nebula, began to collapse under its own gravity. At its heart, temperatures rose dramatically until hydrogen atoms fused, igniting our sun, a dazzling star whose birth sparked a new beginning. Today, the sun is composed of several fascinating layers. The core, where nuclear fusion occurs. The radiative zone, where energy moves outward as radiation. The convective zone, where heat circulates in giant loops. And finally, the outer layers, the photosphere, chromosphere, and corona, each playing a unique role in radiating energy into space. Orbiting around this newborn star, dust particles collided and stuck together, gradually forming tiny objects called planetesimals. These building blocks, ranging from mere kilometers across to much larger, mark the first step towards creating planets. Many planetesimals that never became planets still orbit today as asteroids, mostly clustered between Mars and Jupiter in what we call the asteroid belt. As planetesimals continued to collide and merge, larger bodies emerged, known as protoplanets. These early planetary embryos had distinct internal structures and compositions. Some grew massive enough to become giant gas planets, pulling in thick layers of hydrogen and helium, while others, like Earth, developed rocky surfaces. The protoplanets underwent intense bombardment and collisions, reshaping their landscapes and internal compositions ultimately evolving into the planets we recognize today. Among these emerging worlds was Earth, born amidst intense heat and chaos. Molten rock oceans covered its surface and countless meteor impacts shaped its fiery, primitive landscape. But Earth's formation story wasn't complete without one monumental event, a massive collision with a Mars-sized protoplanet named Theia. This colossal impact blasted debris into Earth's orbit, eventually coalescing to form the moon we see today. Initially, the moon was much closer to Earth than it is now, creating enormous tides that dramatically affected our planet's early geology and climate. Over billions of years, the moon gradually drifted away, stabilizing into its current orbit. Water, essential for life as we know it, covers over 70% of Earth's surface. But how did our planet come to possess such an abundance of this vital substance? Scientists have proposed several compelling theories to explain the origins of Earth's water. One prominent hypothesis suggests that water was delivered to Earth by water-rich celestial bodies during the early stages of the solar system. Asteroids and comets, laden with ice and hydrated minerals, bombarded the young Earth, releasing water upon impact. Notably, carbonaceous chondrite meteorites, a type of asteroid, contain hydrogen and oxygen isotopes closely matching those found in Earth's oceans, supporting this idea. Another theory posits that Earth generated its own water through internal processes. During Earth's formation, volcanic outgassing released water vapor trapped within the planet's interior. As the planet cooled, this vapor condensed to form oceans. Additionally, research on instatite chondrite meteorites, believed to be similar to the building blocks of Earth, indicates they contain sufficient hydrogen to account for much of Earth's water, implying that water may have been present from the planet's inception.
Around 3.5 billion years ago, Earth saw the emergence of its first life forms, simple microorganisms. Among these were cyanobacteria, remarkable organisms that performed photosynthesis. These microscopic life forms profoundly transformed our planet by releasing oxygen, gradually filling Earth's atmosphere and paving the way for more complex life to evolve. How life first sparked on Earth remains one of the greatest mysteries. Scientists primarily support two intriguing theories. First is the primordial soup theory, which proposes that Earth's early oceans were rich with organic molecules, lightning strikes, volcanic activity, and ultraviolet radiation triggered chemical reactions that produced amino acids and other essential organic compounds. Over time, these molecules combined into increasingly complex forms, eventually giving rise to the first simple living organisms. Second is panspermia, the fascinating concept that life didn't originate on Earth at all, but arrived here from elsewhere in space. According to this theory, Comets, asteroids, or meteorites could have transported organic molecules, or even microorganisms, from distant parts of the universe. These cosmic visitors would have seeded Earth's early environment, kick-starting the development of life as we know it. Whichever theory holds true, what is certain is that from cosmic dust to thriving life, the journey of our solar system and Earth is nothing short of extraordinary. And as we explore the cosmos, we continue to search for clues that might unlock the ultimate mystery. Are we alone in the universe, or just one chapter in a vast cosmic story?